I just made the most amazing purchase of my life. The best value anyone has ever seen. It's going to allow me to instantly get into legacy, vintage, and modern as a competitive player. And the whole thing cost about 50 bucks. What do you get for 50 bucks? Let's take a look. All right, so I purchased a card lot, okay? Comes in a basic box like this, you know. Well, actually, I didn't purchase it. Somebody sent it to me uh, to check out. And I said, okay, thanks for the free gift. But the cost is about mm, 50 bucks, I think, for this whole thing of cards. What do you get inside? What do you get inside? Should we take a look? Let's just take a look through some of these, okay? Oh, we got a Mox Emerald. A Mox Pearl. How about a Mox Sapphire? How about a Mox Jet? How about a Black Lotus? Or Mox Ruby. Ah, fuck yeah, Mox Ruby! Oh, there's some black border cards in here too. Chalice of the Void, okay. Oh, here's a Time Walk. Gauntlet of Might. Time Twister. Mox Diamond. Again, for about 50 bucks. And just a recall. I don't even, I don't even have to worry about I'll just play them without sleeves. What else is in this pack? Well, let's see. We got Fet uh, original Dual Lands, Bayou, Tundra, and the, the quality is incredible. Plateau, Taiga, Savannah, Volcanic Island, Badlands, Tropical Island, Underground Sea. How about? How about, uh, how about some original Onslaught Fetchlands? How about a Bloodsand Mire? Or Verdant Catacombs? How about a Marsh Flats, Windswept Teeth, Flooded Strand? How about a Liliana the Veil? Vampiric Tutor? How about some Mana Drains? How about an original Demonic Tutor? How about an Ugin? The Spirit Dragon. How about a Mana Crypt? <laughs> oh, Imperial Seal! It's like 900 bucks. Right? Oh, Black Border Black Lotus. This is great. I think I did pretty good for about $50, wouldn't you say? What you might be saying to yourself. You may have already decided that these are in fact counterfeit. But what I thought would be worthwhile is uh, they, they don't look to pass the light test. But let's say I just wanted to play at home. And I wanted, like, seriously, I'm not kidding you. This is better stock. Let's use a black border one. Better stock, in my opinion. Like, this is a Mox Opal. Yeah, this is a better, this is better card stock. The counterfeits are making current magic cards look extraordinarily bad. These came from China, a Chinaman. You don't have to look hard. You can find them anywhere. This card stock is better than Wizards of the Coast is printing right now. Well, you might be saying, 
What else did you get? Well, they also sent a modern version 6.0. I didn't open that one. I really don't know what's in it. But I know somebody reached out and said that they play all their all the formats they want and they don't buy anything from Wizards. So how do you do that? I mean, certainly you could print your own proxies. And to be clear, where I come down on counterfeit cards is this. They should clearly notate on them that they are, in fact, counterfeit or void. They can still look extremely real. I'm okay with that. But on the backs of them, it should say, see, I have what I have. I have a problem. Oh, they even, they even, holy crap. They actually smell like new magic cards. They really do. Like, this guy has the stock down perfectly, even better than what Wizards does. Like if the back said, you know, for whatever use, proxy, or even somewhere small in the center, I'm, I'm fine with them, right? I don't like them being in the system, so I'm actually going to throw these in the garbage when I'm, when I'm done. Let's see what's in this $50 pack. And you can hear it crack, like snap. It's it's totally. They're a little to the to the feel. They're a little glossier, but in a sleeve, no way, no way anyone knows. And now I'll be able to play. You know, if so, if I so choose, whatever formats I want, whatever eternal formats, and get to play with the actual cards. Should I choose? I mean, these look exact to me. There's no way you eyeball most people. There's no way most people eyeball this and know it's a fake. No way. How about a Dark Confidant? Modern Masters. How about a Tarmogoyf? This looks perfect. The Tarmogoyf looks perfect. The backs. Here's a back of one of these. And the back of a real one. A little lighter on camera, but to the naked eye, they don't look that different. Here's a Fulminator Mage, Spellskite. These are out there now. These are what you have to be worried about when you're buying cards. Another Liliana. Thoughts. You still have a play set of Lilianas, I think. Mox Opal, Surgical Extraction, Glimmer Void. I mean, they're all out there. Goblin Guide, Blood Moon, Glimpse, Karn Liberated. That Karn looks... Freaking perfect. Cryptic Command. Tezzeret. Yeah, I have to throw these out immediately because otherwise I'll I'll get them mixed up. They even did Fatal Push. They even counterfeit Fatal Push. Fetid Heath, Eldrazi Temple. This is what happens when you have a reserve list. You create a market for this type of thing. I don't really know what wizards can do to stop it, to be honest with you. Uh, the, the, in China, you're not, really, you're not really going to get them to enforce anything. Uh, it's a culture that it seems to be, not all, but seems to be okay with counterfeiting. Uh, and this is a valuable lesson to you, hopefully. Um, I don't have any problem at all with people playing with these. None. Zero. I like to have the old look and feel. And to be honest, in my hand, I'm actually still getting kind of excited. You know, like this feels like an actual magic card from back in the day. There's no way. There's no way I, I, a normal person eyeballs this and knows it's fake. Now this one looks a little weird, but that card always looked kind of weird. And that Mox Diamond looks perfect. I mean, unless you have something right next to you to compare to, you're not going to get it. You're not catching it. That Mox Ruby, that looks perfect. In a sleeve, you'll ne they'll never know. Play whatever vintage 
or commander decks you want at home. See, with the sticker, though, the sticker tells you, right? They even did Ugin, and he did what looks like an attempt at the sticker. So basically, to a glance, at a glance, in a sleeve, this may trick somebody. Like a judge or something like that looking at it. And you're just thumbing through, and you're like, everyone has a sticker, and then your playset at Ugin's are like that. They probably don't notice. What I'm shocked by is just how good they are. And what is really sad is how much it reminds me of just how little Wizards of the Coast seems to care. That a one-man operation in China is printing better cards than they are. And these came all the way from China in like three days via DHL, supposedly. That's what I'm told. And then that person sent them to my P.O. box. With a note. Anonymously, no return address label. But... All I know of these are that they're a sixth generation and that they're from some seller named Black Lotus. I don't know. But uh, what do you think morally about counterfeit cards? I feel like it comes down, it comes a lot, uh, down to a lot uh, intent. If you're, My intent is to just spend $300 and get really high quality reprint, like uh, proxies, and play in my home game, uh, I don't have, I don't see any problem with it. The problem happens when they get into the open market. Um, but I'm curious to what you think. Am I, am I wrong? They sh just shouldn't exist at all. Um, I'm curious. This is version six. They're pretty much, in my opinion, unless you are really discerning, unless you're buying the card, you can still tell they're fake with a jeweler's loop or I guess the light test on some of them. But they're getting better and Wizards of the Coast is getting worse. It's not going to be long until they just fix this hologram thing and they start uh, doing recent rares and mythics. There's no reason not to, especially if they're expensive. So be careful. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to be notified the next time I upload a video, make sure you subscribe and take a moment to turn on notifications. If you want to support the cause of this channel, it survives because of the amazing generosity of those that choose to back me on Maker Support. The link is in the description and hopefully you'll consider backing today.